Welcome back to Face the Nation. I'm John Dickerson. We're joined by Republican presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul. Senator Paul, the race in Iowa, your staff says there's going to be a big surprise there. Where are things in your campaign? You know, we just announced a thousand precinct chairs, which is a pretty significant uh, effort. We don't think any other campaign really has announced that many precinct chairs. We think we, we may well be the most organized campaign in Iowa, and that's somewhat unheralded if you watch the polls. But really, a caucus is about turning your people out. It's calling them, getting them out. We're planning on getting a lot of college students out. We've organized all the college campuses, and our goal is 10,000 students, and we're going to try. The New York Times has a headline on the front page today that it says, quote, for Republicans, fears of a lasting split as class divisions erupt. Do you think there's something larger happening in the Republican race that's not just a competition of candidates, but that there's a real change going on in the Republicans? There's a disconnect between many of the Republicans in Washington and the grassroots. And I, I lectured my fellow congressman and senator till three in the morning saying, drive outside the beltway and you'll find that no Republican really wants us to raise the debt ceiling without significant budgetary reform. And see, we did the opposite. We raised the debt ceiling an unspecified amount and we gave up on the budgetary caps. Not one Republican outside the Beltway supports that. So that's a real disconnect. If you see Republican leadership working with President Obama to raise the budget caps, but it's because some on the right want more military spending, some on the left want more welfare spending, so they both get together, we raise both, but as a consequence, we have a $19 trillion debt. Is there a way to fix that, that disconnect that you're talking about? It seems pretty bad. Term limits. Um, really, there needs to be more turnover in office. And I think if you had that, all of a sudden, people would be more enthused. And I think that's why the Republican electorate is looking for outsiders, because they're tired, basically, of uh, everybody in Washington saying, oh, we can't do anything. We, you know, we have the power of the person. We're not using it. We control the House. We control the Senate. We're not using that power.